peptide receptor radionuclide therapy, or PRRT, is a targeted form of radiation treatment that may be offered to some people to treat their neuroendocrine cancer, also known as NET. A NET multidisciplinary team will be involved and use PET scans to assess if you are suitable for this treatment, as it will show whether your NET has the receptors and can take up the radiation. PET scans such as gallium-68 dotatate use a special type of contrast that shows NETs with these somatostatin receptors. Most neuroendocrine cancer cells have receptors on the outside called somatostatin receptors. Doctors can target neuroendocrine tumours that have these receptors with PRRT. A radioactive substance, for example lutetium-177 or lutate, is attached to a somatostatin analogue drug, for example octreotide, in a laboratory. Through an infusion into your vein, the radioactive treatment circulates through the body in the bloodstream and attaches to the receptors on the NET cell. This allows the radioactive substance to enter and directly damage the cancer cell from the inside. PRRT allows high doses of radiation delivery to specific sites of tumours wherever they have spread throughout the body without damaging surrounding healthy cells. While PRRT is unable to cure neuroendocrine cancer, it has the potential to reduce the size and number of tumours, slow tumour growth, provide relief from symptoms such as pain, reduce hormone release for some tumours, improve quality of life, improve chance of survival. If you are having somatostatin analogue injections such as lanreotide, these may need to be delayed before your PRRT. Your treating team will give you information relevant to your personal circumstances. It will be important for you to let your medical team know the date of your last somatostatin analogue injection. A kidney scan and blood tests are also required before treatment. PRRT is given in the Nuclear Medicine Department of Specialist Treatment Centres. It is generally a daytime treatment, over five to six hours, approximately every eight weeks. The infusion of radioactive therapy is given over approximately 20 to 30 minutes. Anti-nausea medication is given, along with an infusion of amino acids over several hours to protect and reduce kidney injury from the radioactive treatment. Typically, four treatments are given. However, this can vary. If PRRT has worked well, there may be potential for more treatment in the future. You'll be cared for by the staff in the nuclear medicine department. If you feel unwell or have any symptoms, it is important to notify the staff caring for you. For some time after, you will be radioactive. And for several days, these radioactive substances will leave the body when you use the toilet through urine and faeces. It is therefore important to take safety precautions, such as avoiding close contact with others, especially pregnant women and children, closing the toilet lid and double flushing after use. Follow your local treatment team advice for all precautions. Common side effects could include nausea, fatigue or tiredness, temporary increase in pain, temporary increase in carcinoid syndrome symptoms, such as flushing, sweating, diarrhea, palpitations, kidney or liver problems, mild to moderate hair thinning. Carcinoid crisis can occur in rare instances when large amounts of hormones and proteins are released by neuroendocrine cancer either during or after PRRT. Your treating team will screen you for this risk and as a precaution, we'll have a prevention plan in place as required. It is important to let your treatment team know of any symptoms affecting you. Starting a new treatment can raise many questions. For further information and support, contact your treating team or NET nurse at Neuroendocrine Cancer Australia on 1300 287 363. This video contains general information about PRRT. Your treating team will provide you with more information personalised to your care.